Good day Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm Misha the Psychotic Psychedelic Gypsy and this is your weekly reading for September 25th to October 1st. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Any crazy noise that you hear in the background is my cat Poison. She's losing her mind right now. So, yeah, she's got the zoomies. So that is what you're hearing. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Jack of clubs. Two of spades. Four of hearts. Nine of Hearts. Okay. So, your main energy this week is a wish fulfilled. Uh, love, happiness, and joy is yours as long as you're grateful for the blessings you already have. So, any blessings that you have now, roof over your head, food in your belly, all that good stuff, uh, you need to celebrate that. And then that is going to bring you a wish fulfilled. It's going to bring you more love, more happiness, more joy. So celebrate, you know, and be grateful for what you already have throughout the whole week. And that will bring even more uh, abundance, love, happiness, and joy abundance to you uh, throughout the week. Um, at the beginning of the look, week, ugh, it looks like you have a risk that you can take. Um, and the cards say that it's, it's a go, uh, a risk in business some kind of ideal that you have going on, uh, some kind of project you might be stirring in your head. Um, and the cards just say to think and focus, you know. But uh, beware, there is there is a player. There is somebody that does not want you to do whatever this is. Uh, and they're going to try to trip you up on it. So really be careful um, when going after your ideas or your, you know, and building projects and whatnot. Because there is somebody a player somebody that's gonna you know whisper in your ear and try to get you to not do this stuff so watch out for that um and then uh in the middle of the week there's gonna be some broken communication and i'm i'm feeling it's gonna be with this player uh, i think this player is gonna build broken communication with you and what you need to do is you need to seek out um the wisest person that you know in that subject matter whatever the broken communication is about like say it's about math you want to look out you want to find the wisest person you know about math somebody that knows math really well you get what i'm saying so yeah so broken communication but i think it's this player uh so um but still look look for the wisest person uh so that you can trip the player up instead of the player tripping you up uh at the end of the week uh, it's time for you to retreat and refocus. Uh, past thoughts are overwhelming you and causing disappointment and emotional un unstableness. And I think that this is probably the player, again, I think this player is just going to be uh, playing you all, all week. Um, I think this is the player again. And uh, you need to step back and uh, give yourself time to heal. Uh, I think probably throughout the whole week I would do that. Uh, just, you know, even if it's only for five minutes to, to get some good, slow breathing in, you know, uh, but also find time to like pamper yourself, you know, bubble bath, whatever it is that you do that makes you feel good. Um, definitely make sure to do that here at the end of the week. Um, but I feel like this is, I think the player put you in this, in this, uh, mindset, this emotional unstableness, this disappointment, I feel it's the player that did this with the broken communication. So uh, definitely at the end of the week, uh, take time out to heal, you know, take time out for yourself. Um, but uh, but definitely throughout the whole week, stay blessed, you know, stay grateful for how blessed you are and celebrate that. Uh, and it'll just bring more love and happiness to you and probably help you get through this, you know, doing this positive risk this project, this idea, whatever it is that you're got going on in your head, by being grateful that you're blessed is going to help you 
get through all this other crap that this player is putting you through. So, yeah. Let's see what the uh, tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? And that card is the Emperor. So yeah, you need to you need to be like the Emperor. You need to be really strong and really bold and and you know take the bull by the horns and you know derail this 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 player, you know, really take charge in your of your life, you know, at this point in time. While also being grateful for what you already have. But I mean dealing with this player, you need to be like the Emperor. Uh, and I would I would say probably look into like some knowledge about the player as well uh, but for the most part you need to be uh, very stern very harsh you know well not harsh but just stern and strong with this player and don't put up with any bullshit you know so uh, there you go I hope this resonated if it did hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe I hope to see you back here next week, and until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.